for a Halloween special, you know, it would be a wonderful evening. I am so thirsty, darling. Anyway, we have a veritable witch's brew of guests tonight. The amazing credit my teeth, I'm swallowing my teeth. We'll conduct a seance to contact someone from the dead, probably living in Bill Boggs's you-know-what, high priest of the Holy Order of the Winged Desk. That sounds like a thing. To... And of course, we have some real witches and some very nasty people who say we're all sons of Satan. Oh, I feel so thirsty. I need something to drink. Oh. You found one of my teeth, Steve. How nice of you. How nice of you, Steve. My tooth. Thank you. We got some guests here. I want you to meet some real idiots tonight, all right? Get this crap taste out of my mouth here. We have Phaedron. A magician, the holy order of the winged disc, right? Mm -hmm. Phaedron's with us. We also have at Loudmouth number one, we have Karen Crawford, former occult practitioner. Karen, how are you? And at Loudmouth number two, we have Phyllis Miller, a born again Christian. All right, now, let me start with you, Fade. Yeah. It's my understanding that you're a member of the holy order of the wing disc. Now, right. does that mean your organization holds frisbee tournaments or something at church? No, not really. No, no, no. No. You're, you're not a magician magic. in the classic entertainment sense, right? No, no. Uh, you practice magic in a religious form? In a way. It could be called a religion. It really is, and it's the act of causing change. Who, you, who do you pay homage to? We pay homage to no man. We pay homage to the gods and goddesses. Well, you got to speak up. I can't hear you. Pay we homage pay homage to no man. To the gods and goddesses. No you man and no You pay homage to gods and goddesses. That's right. Who are the gods and goddesses. We have a particular orientation towards the Egyptian tradition. We embrace just about every tradition that has a god or goddess. It's basically the same story. We just use different names, whether it be the Christian tradition or the Jewish tradition, the pagans, whatever the case may be. Are you pagans? Uh, we could be called pagans. We tra tra tradi traditionally are not pagans, no. So what you're saying then is uh, this is uh, a real legitimate thing. This isn't a put on. No. No. Yeah, you're for real. Mm -hmm. Excuse me. So, Karen, let me ask you, dear. You've dabbled in the occult for 25 years, right? What do you think of our high priest of bunny rabbits here? Let's say that one more time. What did you say, sir? I didn't hear your question. I said, <laughs> dabbling in the occult made you go deaf, right? Right. Okay. <laughs> you dabbled. You've dabbled in it for about 25 years, right? Yeah, time. What do you think of this uh, in disguise bunny rabbit up here? Well, I only have one thing to say, and that there's only one God, mm -hmm. the God of the heavens. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and he's, we know him by name, Jehovah God. We know him by name, Jehovah God. We know him by name, yeah. We also know him by name, Jesus. Jesus, the We also know him by the name of the Holy Spirit. The Holy Spirit, mm -hmm. Jehovah. Amen. Jehovah. Jehovah. Well, then are why these different fragments of huh? one God? Aren't these different fragments of one overall God? They're three in one, the mm -hmm. Trinity. That's right. Right. That's right. Those are three gods and goddesses. Call them whatever you want. Call the saints gods. Well, I don't call them will. goddesses. No, no, no we don't God. call saints God, not in Christianity. No, no, but you do worship them as God. No, no, we do not worship saints as God very, in Christianity. Very, very close. Pardon me? No, very God. close. No, no. Very we do close. not come close to something. worshiping gods and Christ, uh, to saints in Christianity. We, we are and monotheistic. if we do, we are not Christians because thou shalt not 
worship we believe false in one God as well. Me. Got that? Yeah. We are monotheists, as was proved as the pre-dynastic Egyptians. There is one God, out of which there are very, very many fragments and very different phases of that one Would God. Would you say every man is a God then? To a degree, it's a representation of God on a lower scale, yeah. Every man and woman. Every man and woman That's is right. made in the image of God? Well, he has a spirit, and she has a spirit. Therefore, we do have his particular, you know, uh, affinity with God. So your God has a spirit? Yeah, of course. Well, is he too far off base here then? Yeah. Uh, there's only one way, according to Scripture, to God, and that's through Jesus Christ, the Son of God. Mm -hmm. And if that's the God you serve, then say to me, I am a follower of Jesus Christ, and he is Lord we of my life. there is more than one say way to, me, to God. Say to me, I believe in Jesus Christ. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Phyllis, let me, Phyllis, let me ask so you a question. There's only one path to spirituality, is that right? Is there only one path to spirituality? Is there only one path to spirituality? That's right. That's, right. No, that's what she believes. That's right. She's trying well, to sell me. She stands in the subway trying to sell me. She's the lady that gives out the pamphlets to try to uh, sell me her religion. I don't do that. What do you do to sell yours? I don't do anything to sell mine. We've People been underground. Uh, we've been underground you. for over 20 years. It's only been in the last five years. We came up above ground because people wanted to find us. They flocked to them. How many members do you have of your church? I don't discuss that. You don't discuss that? <laughs> no. no what, what I, can I guess? Sure. If I come close it's to sizable. guessing... It's sizable. It's sizable. If I come close, 10,000? Again, I wouldn't... I'm not, I'm not a liberty to say Am that. I above or below? I'm not a liberty to say Why, that. is that a sin against your scripture? I have taken an oath not to divulge. Taken an oath. Who? Who? I, I would assume you could only brought, take an oath to your I brought 20 God. people tonight. I would assume you so, could only take an oath to your God, right? To a degree, yeah. So did you take that oath to your God? I did. And what was the name of your God? Uh, we, again, deal with uh, the Egyptian tradition. In the tradition, uh, in the tradition of the Egyptians, what is the name of your God? Ra represents the one God. Ra. That's right. Ra. Ra, 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 Ra. So, that makes me, that makes me ask... That makes me ask if your God is a hockey fan, right? No, That's what doesn't. we do at hockey games. No, you call your God God? Huh? You call your God God? I call my God the Supreme mm -hmm. Being. That's what I call my God. You call your God the Supreme Being? Yeah, I Dean. also call him Yehoah. I also call the Son of God, Jesus. I also will recognize all the other traditions because well, I no, believe that's a seed of truth now in is all he the far other away? traditions. Tell me Jesus Christ is Lord of your life. He's Lord of my life? Tell I believe me that God Jesus is the Lord Christ of my is life. Lord of your life. God, whether you call him Ra, whether you call him God, Brahma, whether you call him Buddha, whatever you want to call him, there's one God. There is one God with many names. We serve He's two gonna... forces in this universe, two forces. We either serve God or we serve the devil. What is God? Tell if me. you serve what God, you serve him by way of Jesus Christ. And if you do, you can say, I, don't serve I the believe devil. in Jesus Christ as God. Lord and Savior. And if you can't say it, you're Let me ask Phyllis, let me ask Phyllis you... first. Phyllis, as a Christian, you don't concede God-like powers uh, to an individual. Sir, do you have God-like powers? We all have God-like powers. Right. We're here, right? You don't right? concede God-like powers. We have Satan powers, too, if we want but to use them. That's as right. a Christian, Everybody you don't concede God-like powers to individuals, do you? No. Why? Because if we look in the Bible, indeed, ha haven't we been told in many places in the Bible that we have the same powers if we yeah. utilize oh, them sure, properly? Yes, yes. God gives us power to do right, the same then, as Jesus Christ, his son, did on earth. Right. And yes. Jesus Christ, his son, was one of the members of the Trinity. Right. All right? Therefore, you are conceding God-like powers to individuals. Oh, yes, yes, yes. All right, so, so we both do wrong. that. I, yeah. I want to come back next because we're going to, uh, to introduce you to a couple of modern-day witches, Peter and Carol. Stand by.
pretty weird. <laughs> Where's Carol? Here I am, sir. Home base gang, new guests. We've got uh, Carol, who is a witch. We have Fabian, who is a magician. And we have an audience that has a weak stomach. I would like to ask Carol, in my mind, when I think of witches, I think of people with pointed hats riding around on broomsticks. And I don't see any broomsticks. What is a modern-day witch? That's a lot of Hollywood hype, Mort. It's a modern-day witch is Hollywood Witches hype. Witches are actually very boring people. See, the word witch comes from the word Wicca. Wicca means wisdom. Wicca is over 50 million years old. We are pre-Christian. Just a minute. Just a minute. Let me enlighten you. Basically the Where same age. Okay. Devil worshippers is about 1900 years old. Those are sick Christians. Both of you have a problem. We worship Earth Mother, Mother Nature, and Sky Father. We all worship the same God. God is energy composed of male and female. You have a man and a woman, a seed and an egg, and together the female births life and we procreate. That's right, my dear. Men and women, it takes two to tango. God is energy composed of love energy, of male and female. All right, do you Where did have, you come do from? Do you have, Carol, an image of what God is? Energy. The energy, energy of the universe. Uh, baby, God is forget. everywhere. Your brain is energy. Your cells are energy. The smoke is energy. Everything's energy. Everything in here is God. God is everywhere. Yes, God, I know God God's is within everywhere. every one of us. Huh? God is within every man I and every that. woman. I understand that. This is home. This is your home. This is the earth. This is the last Mother place. We, there is no heaven. Of course there's heaven. Where's heaven? The universe is, are the heavens. But you just said this is my home. You're standing on planet earth. You're standing on Mother Nature. I'm standing on the only thing that has life on it, right? Oh, no, absolutely not. Oh, really? Where's the rest? Do you really believe that a billion planets... I'm asking you planets? a question. I didn't say what I really believe. I'm asking of you a question. Of course, there has to be life in other planets. Why would this one planet be the only planet in the universe that has life on it? All right. I think God's better than that. I think if God but, but created you're billions not, of you're planets, not, then he created you saying, life. Are you saying... It's basically what you're telling us, then, that we can't identify a physical being of Christ or of God or of Jesus or of uh, Yahweh or... See, Whatever that's you just call. it. You must respect all religions. You must rever all religions, from, from India to Greece to Rome to Brittany to Wales to Scotland. I beg your pardon? Do you respect the Lord Jesus Christ, the only true God? I don't know what the hell this is. I don't know what the hell this is. I have the You're Joan, right? I have the power in the name of Jesus. I'm a child of the King. I'm a child of the King. My God, my God, my color. Let's hear it. Let's listen. Let's listen. Let's listen. I'm a child of the King. That's why I came dressed like this tonight. I'm a child of the King. My God likes color. My God does not like uh. death, which represents the black death and darkness my god gives life how about those of you who Black know the lord here today white light, how many of dear? you know the lord jesus christ how many how many how many jesus is lord the devil is defeated you believe in the devil we don't oh i know you don't you you, you make this negativity John, John, lady. And where do you get your wisdom wait a second wait a second let's see you what's going on you created the devil sounds very well read what books have you read that tell you this the Word of God, the no. Bible. Did, did God speak to you about yes. this? You oh, heard God say this Spirit. to you? Did the, the Spirit Holy... say it to you? Oh, yes. You heard this voice? I feel the Spirit of God. Yes. She heard the voice. I bear witness. I know how to answer this. Go God. ahead, Carol. Lady, every day, every day in my, my prophet's spirit. house, I get people that come to me, they tell me yes. they're hearing voices. Okay, I, do, I hear the word, word of God within my spirit. Yes, sir. How many of you hear the Word of God within your spirit or hear the Lord within your spirit? I think all of us how have many? one drive huh? another. Yeah, how many? One, two, three. No, I'm, I'm if we lay up here, here too, pal. one over how there. Down up here, too. I've heard Listen. it. Three, four. I've heard Every it. bit of power that the devil has, the Lord God Almighty has I agree more with power. You. I agree yes. with you. So why are you in black? Because why, why am I in black? Because white light, Oh my yes. dear. Yeah. Well, wait a second, John. Wait a second. Wait a second. Sit down, Carol.
Are you going from a woman or a man? Back to the pit of hell. You're you from the pit of hell. You go out. You created the devil. Out, out, out. Go in the name of Jesus. up in the next segment. Get Keep going, gang. Keep Get going. We'll be back. Get out of here. Get around. Oh. much as we want to have fun tonight, as much as we want to have fun tonight, we're getting a disagreement here, and I think that's important to bring out. We're going to change this segment now and let this continue, because, Joan, you and Carol were having a discussion, yes. and it continued into the segment right. break. I want you to get back to what you guys were discussing so we can hear it now. I can't see Why anymore. are you afraid of me? Don't yell in my face, Why first of all. Just a minute, I want to answer that. I used to that. want to be like you. I want to answer awesome. that. I am not afraid of You're you or afraid. anyone like you. Hold on, what am I like? What am I? Pushy, overbearing, fanatical. Oh, thank you. That's you are. great. That's what Jesus was. Oh, wait a second. You said something, though. You said something about black. Yes. Uh, you said of it being darkness. Yes. Don't give Every Jesus priest I know, Don't every Jesus priest I know name. wears right. a black cast. Thank you. All right? Yeah. Jesuits wear black casts, yeah. all right? They're known as the black pope. Yeah. So are you, are you therefore condemning priests, too? No, I'm not condemning priests, but I, th I know some priests who are really turned on the Lord, and they don't stick in the black all the time. They know that other Neither colors were created, too. But they don't either. You I know. mean, are, he's got red as his belt. Well, isn't it coincidental that you all have black on? Well, it's Halloween. I'm in mourning. Well, mourning. Well, what's Halloween? Tell me what Halloween is. You're in mourning is. for what, Carol? Yeah. For over 10 million animals that are slaughtered in agonizing, painful oh. death every year. So, wait a second. Let's find out if this good woman is really telling the truth. I'll tell you're you in, why. You're in pain for over 10 million animals, which are slaughtered in pain. And, and are you in no, pain? In are you in, in pain laboratory. also? Are you in pain also for the more than 24 million unborn yeah, babies sure. who have been slaughtered yeah, sure. in pain? Yeah, yeah. And you the are. homeless and the environment. So therefore, you are going to tell me you are in favor of life, pro-life. You're pro-life. Absolutely. Okay. Absolutely. Absolutely. Yeah. We've worn this one out. We've worn this out. Okay. You go sit over there, if you will, please. Sit over there. We have... Now, where is... Uh, I want to go to the... I want to go to the loudmouth. I want to go to the loudmouth for a second. Yeah. I didn't get your name, young man. Uh, my name is Peter. Your name is Peter? Yeah. Now, Peter, are you a witch also? Yes, I am a witch. As also. a witch, what powers do you have? Um... Usually, <laughs> nowadays, a witch would be using his or her powers, because it's a generic term. Warlock is just in Hollywood, and that would represent somebody who was an oath breaker. The oath would be to harm no beings. A witch would be using their power to uh, help people out, help themselves out. Certainly, we are people to come to if... You're looking for a job. Can you cure me of my smoking habit? That's a real hard one. Is it? Yeah, very hard. As a matter of fact, the acupuncturists say that's harder than getting off heroin. Acupuncture. Well, frankly, I don't want to be cured of it anyhow. The Lord took me of smoking after 25 years. Sir? That's self-destruction. We were talking before about the dark side right. and the low side and the heavy side, the satanic side. The lady had one point, that heavy set lady that was here. I don't know her name. <laughs> At one point, well, let me hear the guy, man. Which is that there is a God and there is a devil in everybody, mm -hmm. and the self-destructive side, whether it be smoking, mm -hmm. drugs, you name it, that's the devil. This is the devil here. Yeah. 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 Is alcohol a devil too? Yeah. If it's abused, anything could be a, the devil. When it's abused, that's right. the magic Ketchup word. Ketchup right? could be the devil. That's the magic word. That's abused, right? right? Okay. Let me. Uh, we've got. I want to introduce these folks here at Loudmouth Number One: Leroy Montana and Linda Walton. The, the, these, these folks, these folks are, and incidentally, 
shortly in this program, we are going to have a seance and call back the dead. Right? I want to go, Leroy. Leroy, listen up, pal, will you please? Question. The only crystals, frankly, that I really know about. You talk about crystals, you gave me a, a nice crystal, or, you know, Crystal Gale and uh, Billy Crystal, all right? But you, you, gave, you gave me this one. What in the hell is that going to do for me, baby? Okay. Everybody, everybody has an amethyst. Everything, everybody in this audience today was given an amethyst. If you don't have one, you can, you can get them after right, the hear. show. Okay, tell them what it's worth. <laughs> let her talk now, let her talk, all right? Go These ahead. amethysts are available after the show. Okay, but tell time. me about it, the crystal oracle. Okay. I mean, I... What the amethyst for is to connect you to the force. The force is everybody's religion. We have we have Jews, we have Catholics, we have Buddhists. We, but yet we what all. What does the force do for me? What the force does is it helps you make wise decisions. It has you coming from your highest place. Every one of us has our low points and our high points. You're right. We can either, that's right, we can either decide uh, from our best possible self, or we can decide from our vindictive, revengeful self. I like that song. Now, I had a lady who believes in these pyramid power and, and all this crap, you know. The, 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 I'm sorry, I don't mean to put down your religion. The uh, crystals, all right? No, crystals aren't she, a religion. It's not. not a religion. Well, it it, it totally protects me with the forest. It protects me. Well, it puts a thing around me, all this crap. Crystals can, crystals can I got strep throat two days after she gave it to me. Did I get it? Did I get it Maybe from the crystal? Maybe you needed a rest. Did I get it from the crystal or from the fact she put her tongue down my throat? Come in from Greenwich Village, I would have to go with answer number two. And so, okay, so what's this stuff right, going to do? Me, okay. Let me just tell you about crystals first. Okay, okay crystals conduct electricity. And, uh, and everybody has electricity. You can measure it. The EEGs, they can measure it um, in hospitals. Everybody has electricity. Cat scan. That's, well, it's scan. like that's, this. It's like that's how crystals work. Not it's, only it's that, energy. there's this great Carillion uh, photography camera that can measure you when you're in a crummy mood and measure you when you're happy mood and your whole energy level is different. It's for real. Let me, let me hear loud mouth over here. Let me hear, let me hear, let me hear. Go ahead, go ahead. You know, it's very, it is very... Where is that, where is that Mrs. Rupper? It's very obvious. Can I make a point? Oh, I want to hear this lady first. Let me hear this lady first. Anyway, what I would like... No, sweetheart, I want to hear this lady. Go, first speak. Of all, first of all, I want to say that the Lord Jesus Christ, our Heavenly Father, loves everyone here. He doesn't love what you represent, but he does love you. That's right. And it's obviously, it's obvious to me that you're all possessed by demons and deluded. Now, let me tell you, let me tell you what demons are. Now, Mark, Mark, I pray, I pray at least three hours a day. To who? I pray to, to who? God. Which one? I pray to the God of my own heart, which is a God that is so big and so beautiful, and I pray every day. Not only that, I meditate for the good of mankind. All right, let me ask you a question, all right? Let me ask you a question, because a lot of people ask this question. If God, I know, I see all that crap, forget it. If God, and I'm not putting down Jesus or anyone else, but if God is so good, why does he allow children to be born with one arm? Why does he allow there to be homeless people? Why does he allow poverty, pestilence, disease, war? Would you, would you as a mother, all right, you indeed are the daughter and the child of God, would you as a mother of one of your own children, would you throw them into a fireplace and call it eternal hell? Would you indeed beat them so badly or start a war between your children so that it kill them? No. Then where I is the good God? I understand the, the, the law of cause and effect no, through good. study. I asked the same question. As a devil's advocate, as a devil's advocate, why indeed does our God 
let these things happen, or does he let them happen? Do we let them happen? Satan, when Satan, Lucifer, uh, rebelled against God, he was sent out of heaven. And God said, we'll give you power over the earth. Mm -hmm. And that's his this, limited power. This, of course, power. means to take a break immediately, all right? Yes. Forget it. So, 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 Lord, God does not send sickness. The devil does. So this is indeed until God has redeemed this earth right. and returned right. Satan's domain. Yes, that's right. We'll be back in just a second. We're going to bring back the dead. Let me tell you something. We promised you at the beginning of the show we were going to have a seance, all right? We, we were going to bring back someone from the dead. Proof of that is if we can levitate a table. Now, I want only believers in here tonight because I am going, I am going to introduce you not to the cities, not to this countries, but to the world's greatest mentalist. A gentleman I have known for 15 years intimately. His name, the great. Uh, uh, not that intimately, baby. Right? However, this man is the great Kreskin, who will present some interesting feats. Here's a couple for you right now. <laughs> I want to tell you, if I were a fortune teller, I would have never foreseen this war. <laughs> Listen, my friend, I, I just have to say something. I mean, it, 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 this, this is your program, and I'm, I, I'm, I'm very happy to be here because one thing about this man, you don't have to read his thoughts to know that whatever he says, he believes in. But I got to tell you something. Mort, I don't know whether I've met a spiritualist who could really, you know, communicate with the world beyond. I'd be a hypocrite to say that I don't believe in the hereafter because my religion is predicated upon it. But what I'm going to show you today, and there are fakes, there are frauds, and there are charlatans, this is not really spiritualism, but this is not a trick. It's not going to be done with stooges. It's not going to be done with gimmicks or illusions. It's going to be done with people's concentration. And more, I want you to help me. We're going to bring on stage five groups of people that I asked before to join me. I wanted to find out if they have any belief in certain phenomena, how they can concentrate. And we numbered them in terms of tables. Table number one would have come, so you sit over here, come down and sit down. Table number two over here. Table number three here. Number four here and five here. Come on down. Come on down, folks, quickly, hurry. More, my friend, I, you know me well enough because you've, you've seen me work in Vegas. I don't use stooges. I don't really know these people. But I want you to sit around these, now, listen to me, folks. Folks, listen. Okay, pay attention, please. Mort's going to talk to you people at the table in a moment. When things start, take your mask off just for now. Uh, you can take it, what's on your face. Go ahead, take your mask but off just for a minute. You have to have your hands free. Don't have any gloves on. You can have oh, rings God, on or what have you. Oh, God, Now, Mort. Now, Mort. Yeah. Every seance, and chime in when, when you wish, but to, at least to give me a start on this, every so-called seance begins with a reaction. Uh, years ago, there was a term called table tilt, a table talk. When you talk to someone, you were, you were having table talk. It's because the old spiritualist said if a table was reacting, two raps are yes, one rap is no. It came from the spiritualism era. All of you put your hands around the table the way I told you would be done at a seance. Now listen to me, folks. Listen to what now I'm with saying. With the camera, zoom in on this because in each case, the little finger is touching the little finger of the hand next to you. Now I warn you of this, and Mort's going to help me in this, I told you and I predicted that without trickery or sleight of hand or any stooges, these tables are going to start to react. When they react, I want you to stand. Mort and I will pull your chairs away. All right, now. Now I want you to begin to concentrate and begin. Think. Listen to me. Put in those tables all the force, all the mental capacity that you can concentrate upon, and as soon as you feel a reaction, call my name. Just say Kreskin over here. Mort, come over here with me. You can feel it. Stand up as soon as you find it. Just stand up. Stay with the table. Just pull these away even if they fall on the floor. Tell us what's happening. Tell Mort what's happening. 
Stand up. Stand immediately. Stay with the table. Stay with the table. You're not doing this deliberately, are you? No. You are not moving this in any way deliberately. Stay with the table. If it starts to slide, just follow it. All right, stand up. Stand up as soon as it happens. Stand. Stand up. If the table starts to move, move with it. As it starts to slide along the floor, stand up. Right, stand up with the table. It'll start to move along the floor. As it starts to move, look at this, Mort, over here. Look at, watch this. You're not doing that deliberately in any way. This is, look at this, Mort, look. Look at here. It may go on the floor. Is that wild? Put that table up again. All of you. All of you. Take your right hand away. Take your right hand. Take your right. Take your right hand away. Take one hand away. Watch how that table stuck. Take one hand away. Now, all of you. And Mort, get close enough. Don't join your hands. You did not do that deliberately, did you? No, I didn't. None of you know me in any way, in any way, shape, or form. No. Because I have never used Confederates. Anybody can do this, but it would take perhaps an hour to get it to happen. Watch how fast, Mort, and folks, the reaction will start again. Join your hands in a circle. And watch what happens. And Mort, you can talk to them at the time. Watch those tables right, start to move. Describe you what the feeling is this. like. It's shaking. And you're not doing this deliberately. No. Mort, you've got to go over this table because this table is starting to move. Look at this. Is that not wild? You're not doing this. Look at how the table is literally moving. It's literally moving. I want this. I want that table to move. I want that table to come. I'm talking to this table. Come here. Come here. Move. That table is coming. Look at it. I want that table to go out of control. You can't stop that table. Try to stop that table. Try. Try to keep that from falling over. Well, watch that as I count to five. It's going to go wild. One, two, three. Look at this. Is that wild? Look at that. Lord, I want to talk to you. Take your hands away. You did not take your hands away. Would you tell me this? You did not do this in any way deliberately. You I didn't can ask them more. You can ask them to talk to them. Did you do this deliberately, Charles? Is that not why? I'm sure. You swear you did not do this deliberately. Look at let's, let's just just don't just don't, man. Wait a second. This lady wants to say something. I am so impressed. So very impressed that you people would actually stand here and get off on. Ma'am, 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 bless you, bless you, bless you, bless you, bless you. Why, why? What is the ignorance? For what glory do you claim that I have the ability to shake a table? Fine. No glory. But, but you... I can shake a table and I'm a child of God. Yes, but you shake a table consciously. You yeah. shake it. Man, All right. so Can you put too. your hands on here? Are they you are so too. fearful? Are you are you so lacking in your belief in God? Now I am also a child of God. Are you so lacking in your belief in God that you don't think this is possible? I'll tell you what really bothers me about it. Tell me what bothers you about it. Because I was sitting there just watching this whole thing and going, Wow, look at this. Yeah. All these people around the little table. Yeah. Use their minds to shake the yeah, world. Yeah. You use Why? your mind to shake the world. You Why use your mind to believe Jesus. in God. Why you use your mind. Way. You use your mind to spread the word of God. Don't you think they can use? Don't you think they are showing an energy power? And that's what it is—an energy power. Man, you know, you're absolutely right. You're absolutely right. The point. You know what, Bob? Man, no, no. Look real weird for Thank you it. so much for letting us do you what we want. Thank are you, you. born? Are you ma born again, trying to kill us all? Ma yeah. I'm sure, ma'am. I'm sure he does. I do too. Press. You know what's fascinating, Mark? You know what this, Mark? I am, Mark. I am not trying to prove anything satanic or supernatural. I'm just trying to show something. One of the greatest fears in life is the fear of the unknown. When Edison discovered electricity, he was condemned of satanic powers by people in public life. These people are only using the power of their minds. This is not a trick, but it's not supernatural. It's a the fascinating power of their mind The power is of the mind is, is energy that's causing right. that phenomenon. Listen. Uh, I got I got a flight out, but God Cress has a flight out, all right? I love working let me with thank, you. I'll let me thank Cress. Let me thank the great Cress and the walking blueberry and uh, these folks down here. We'll be back in just a second. Stand by. We'll go to the audience.
As we do in every damn show, we go to the audience. Before we do that, I want to thank Cliff, who supplied our cast with our uh, costumes and uh, that crummy tasting crap you put oh, in my man, mouth sorry, when I it. bled all over that girl's neck. Uh, Cliff, <laughs> let me go to you. Any questions, anything you want to talk about, man, come on down to Loudmouth. Cliff, go first. Okay, I want to know if these ladies right here believe in Halloween. That's no. what I want to know. I Why believe in it, but don't I don't you celebrate in Halloween? it. Halloween, because all it is... it's Satan's biggest heyday, that's why. No, it's why. not. Yes, no, it's it is. Not. It's no, Satan's not. holiday. No, 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 it's Satan's no, holiday. No, yes, it is. Halloween yes, is the time where everybody gets dressed up, and uh -huh. for one time, they don't have to be themselves. They can be somebody else and have a good time, Did like all these people who came here tonight. Why must you always be afraid of something you can control? Well, Let me ask you something. I get heard that cigarettes are bad, mm -hmm. drugs are bad. I know they are. Alcohol is bad, yeah. right? These yeah. are all bad things, right? Yeah. Spirit of How bondage. come Jesus turned water into wine at the wedding? Yeah. Well, it's bad. Yeah. How come? It wasn't Lord. permitted, Lord. I asked this lady before. I asked this lady before, we were talking, and she said that she used to dress up as a witch on Halloween, and she used to win prizes, but now she can't do it no more because she found the Lord. She knows the meaning of it. The truth. The truth. And I'm not well, criticizing Cliff. Cliff, 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 I'm not putting down anyone for finding the Lord because I have the Lord too, all right? So do I. But I know that the Lord trusts me enough that he's not afraid for me to dress up in a costume. Yeah! He's not afraid for me to he knows. Opens the door. It doesn't open a door and let anyone in if you have your foot out to trip Satan, baby. And you can trip him if you sincerely believe in yourself. It you seems to really me. Was a real it seems to me you don't really believe in yourself. No, 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 you what about those people who are dressed as witches you and are claiming to be witches? What's wrong with them you're dressing as witches? You know what I'm, I'm representing? Them. Them. No, no, I'm man. representing the human race. All right. And I love the whole human race. You've got it too. Because the Lord, the Lord Jesus, who we love and who we represent, loves the whole human race. Where the hell do you get off not loving them? There was a real Dracula. And so his fetish was eating flesh and drinking blood. So there was a real Dracula, she says, and his fetish was... Eating, eating flesh. flesh and drinking blood. The same thing the Satan is doing kind of to a black man. That's not bad. That's not bad. That's not bad. Go ahead, loudmouth. Speak up, pal. I, I need you over here, pal. Speak up. Speak up. Stay there with your microphone. Okay. Hey, I'm Johnny Dirt. Hey, uh, Mark. You're Johnny who? Johnny Dirtbag. Johnny Dirtbag. I have. Okay. First of all, I got two things here. First of all, from Leroy, one of the witches. Yeah. Okay. What am I going to catch? Syphilis I, from this? No, no. Uh, if, if, if you swallow it, you might get a little clog in the drain the next day. A little clog in the drain? But right now, I want to present Martin Downey with the biggest thing that everybody can communicate with. We come from here. Everybody relates to come on, dirt. Come on, man. Get to it's it. It's a dirt bag. Can I pin a dirt bag on you? Pin a dirt bag on me? Dirt bag. No way, Anybody mother. Hear a dirt bag? No way. Let me go to Neptune. Let me go to Neptune up here. Okay, Mort. I would like to know what is the meaning of the pentacle star on her shirt? What is that? This is Leonardo da Vinci's man in his universe. This is head, arms, and legs. The circle around it is the universal pentagram. energy, Isn't the universe that a pentagram itself. For the pentacle this is star? protection for that poor dog that's in one of those laboratories I was talking about earlier. Okay, I, I thought you got that at a Motley Crue concert. I'm just answering the man's yeah, question. I want to say something about this that. This book will give you the answer for this. Let's Adrian talk this book will tell you what you need. Halloween, Halloween, Satanism, good, fine. Keep all the kids home. Tonight, if the kids are out trick-or-treating, bring them home. Satan is with them. The lab will get bad candy. Come on. Cut the crap. Cut the crap. Cut the crap. Now, go ahead. You know, it's Hollywood, and it's... It's Hollywood and the supporters of Hollywood, like these two ladies over here, that are defiling a very holy, sacred symbol that they'll find all over the Vatican, which is this pentagram. 
And if you've been to the Vatican, if you've been to Saint, Saint, uh, to uh, Saint Peter's and to uh, Basilica, you'll find it over there, Does all over the right? place. And you know Does where that it stands make it for? Right? I'm going to clarify right now what the pentagram stands for. It's a five-pointed star. The bottom point is the element of fire. This point is the element of water. To the left is the element of air, and then on the bottom is the element of earth. Turn it the other way. However, you see the ghost right. however, turn it the other way. Turn the other way. You're the devil, Longer. However, I'm we believe in heaven, this. my dear. On the top of those elements, on the top of those elements is the element of spirit. Now, I agree with you. You wear it upside down. You're the devil monger. You don't turn in the other hell. You believe in hell. Your spell didn't work, sweetheart. They're gonna burn in hell. That's right. Let's take a break for a second. We'll be right back because I want Phaedron to say something. Stand by. Adrian, you were going to say something. I want to say one thing. You know, first of all, I didn't finish this fifth point over here on top of those four elements, which was the element of spirit. And that's the way we wear it. We don't invert it. And not only that, we demonstrated over here our practices, the ability to change and the ability to cause change and the ability of magic. Let me see you, let me see you do more than intellectualize and memorize. Let me see you make a demonstration. We don't wear it upside down. Quick. Quick, oh, quick! I come near you. I'm not nervous. You're not nervous. No, you smell yeah. that. You smell. I smell. Yeah. That's Chanel number five. No, dear, you need deodorant. You need deodorant. I'm being truthful. You need deodorant. Mm -hmm. Joan, let this young lady speak. Go. Uh, I just want to ask, um, how this is a, this is an honest question. Zip now. it. Go. This is an honest question. How does somebody become a witch? By Quickly. And studying by by broadening your horizons. There are millions and millions of books that are from way so way back. So you're really saying basically, basically you become a witch the same way you become a priest, a minister, yes. or anything else. Right? Can, Here's the problem. the problem. Here's the problem we had tonight, and we saw it, and it's exhibited all over this world every time. I happen to be a believer and a lover of Jesus Christ. Right. All right. I happen to believe he is my savior. I also happen to believe he is part of a deity, one person in three, right. Right. who is all good, all loving, all kind, who loves yeah. everyone, all right? Yeah. Who will forgive everyone. I don't agree with their positions. That doesn't mean I should fight a war and kill them. That doesn't mean I should blame. That doesn't mean I should fight the Crusades again. That I should give attestation to every war that's been in this land. Women Do you believe in ghosts? Of God. course not. That's we knew you didn't. Man. So Let's if you would just together. lean back and relax, we'll tell you a little ghost Let's story. Please don't hesitate to turn off your lights. We're sure the warm glow from the picture tube will be sufficient to melt your fears of the dark. Watch Hitchcock Presents next, right here on Channel 9.